really, hey, we got out of the gate, man. We got out of the gate attacking the basket. I love how we were driving it, and I thought we really defended athletically. And, you know, we can pressure the ball and get out there. Jaron and Demetrius give us a whole different look, you know, when they get out and pressure the ball. Thought Zach was steady all night, you know, just kept it simple and very fitting. Pat Connaughton just goes double-double and rock solid when he scores a 1,000. So, got a lot, you know, we're, we're trying to generate some momentum with these games at home before we head out of town. Different dimension with this team and, and the way you guys were able to bust this open early. You, you, we, we didn't really see that much last year. Well, you know, the one thing, we, we were kind of get, we could get, we got away from them and we weren't shooting it well from the three-point line or the foul line. But we were driving that thing and, you know, getting stops and getting out in transition. Um, you know, it's a potent group because you have great spacing with four round one and we can really move. Again, you know, you look and you're always worried about the backboard and, you know, it didn't hurt us tonight, but, you know, that's going to be a thing to keep an eye on. What was encouraging is to see Jaron rebound like that, you know, because he's going to have to help us rebound. I think he's understood when he gets a defensive rebound, he can just take off with it. You know, he doesn't, we don't have to worry about the outlet. He can just go. Seems like the two guys you've challenged preseason, Jackson and August, have been nice enough. Well, though, the key was starting in the summer in the foreign tour was to make them feel like main guys. We started them every game in Italy, and we haven't messed around with them much in a blue shirt. They need to learn, you know, to, be, to just know how confident I am in them. And though, and 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 Jaron and Pat, and I think they, you know, they continue to grow. They're playing at a nice pace, but man, they play with some really good players out there a lot of times. Especially that starting group is three really steady guys to play off of. Defensively, hold them under thirty percent. Yeah, was that a case of you guys dictating the action? Or yeah, you know, one them? thing you could see we can do is we can pressure the ball and contest. Our defense, we're picking up a little further out, and it's not not as much stay in front and. You know, we're, we're getting out on people. And, and what it's done is, and Demetrius Jackson's been the point man on this, it's made offenses start start their offense further out. And then when Demetrius is pressuring the ball, that next wave of guys, Jaron, Pat, Steve, can contest a passing lane because he's got the ball in a guy, a point guard's back turn. So we're getting some deflections. The other thing we're doing is when we got broken down off the dribble, our rotation has been more unselfish. We come over and get our body in front of people. We got two charges on dribblers today, guys just getting their chest. So, you know, uh, and out of that, we can run. We've now learned when we turn some people over and get deflections, we can get out and go. You mentioned Pat already, but it seemed like you just let the game come to him, and all of a sudden he's got 17, 10, and 5 at the end of it and hit four threes. It's amazing, amazing, just amazing. And, and uh, he is, he is, he's a man. Like, this is a man playing college basketball, and uh, I am so thrilled that he's back with us and that he's in the role of the voice as the captain. He's done a really good job with this group leading, but um, old reliable's always there when you need him. A lot of openers can be a little sloppy, maybe not showing a lot of confidence and in the groove. There didn't really seem to be much evidence. You kind of hit the ground or yeah, we the you know I think we were really excited to play. I tell you, we were excited because we had a good crowd in there tonight. You know, we had good energy in the building tonight, and our we had a pretty good student section, so I think that helped us. Um, but we talked about getting out of the gate and generating some momentum with these home games before we head to Connecticut and how important it is. Um, but you know, this is a group that can pressure the ball and can move and is hard to guard. Like, we're, we're, we're hard to defend. You feel like I'm, I'm more, you know, I mean, you're mentioning all these things. You feel like you're a more multifaceted team this year. Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we, uh, again, when you can spread it out in more of a four round one and, you know, our best years have been when we've been, we've been able to spread that floor in four round one and have some drivers and one guy in the post. And right now, Zach has done a great job when to kick it out, when to score. And Martin Gebbin comes in and gives us another body in there that can do that. So, um, um, you know, it's a, it, it's, it's a, it's a group that, and they, you know, they're getting, they're, they're really comfortable. You, you could tell we've played together a lot. You know, again, I get back. The foreign tour was so important because we're we've played a lot of basketball together. This team's done a lot together since June 15th. It seemed like even that Colson was the ninth guy in, and yep. it seemed like he fit right there. Yeah, he, he does. And you know what? I mean, I'm going to get on him tomorrow. He he should. I would have put him in earlier. He hasn't practiced as well as he did the first two weeks. So we need to challenge him because we need him. You see the instincts he has. He does some things 
that nobody else on our team can do. Deflections, around the bucket, making plays. But um, we're going to need him as that ninth guy, and, and um, I want to get him in there earlier on Sunday, practice better tomorrow. <laughs> Celebrating 400 by going to watch Navy tape. I'm going to go watch Navy for about 30 minutes and then go home and uh, get ready for that tomorrow. So uh, it's it's great. I think it's great that we turn around and get to play again on Sunday. And um, again, we've talked about can we build some momentum before we head on the road.